a book that broke my heart, smashed it into pieces. I got ready because it is almost Valentine's Day and I think it's appropriate to have a Valentine's Day themed vlog. If there is one drink that just makes me feel all of the love for Valentine's Day, it is this order right here. It's a rosemary hot latte with oat milk. I always get it iced, but she said it's really good hot, so I figured I would try it hot today. I hope I like it, but it's a little steamy, so I'm gonna let it cool down. Let's head to Target because I wanna look at their Valentine's Day stuff. I wanna look at their books because I haven't looked at their book selection in a while. I just haven't been to Target in a while, and we gotta go. I am reading Love in Other Words right now for Valentine's Day, so I thought we could do like a little reading vlog. It's just gonna be such a fun day. Okay. We're at Target, let's go in. I feel like I haven't been here in forever. <laughs> existed in Target. of Ian's Valentine's Day stuff. I don't know, I feel like we did pretty good, but like, I didn't get anything too interesting that you guys would like to see. Are you sleeping? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this haul's gonna be a little bit boring. You know what, I'm gonna say that maybe one of you guys would want to see this, and that's why I'm doing this, but I'm sure most of you are gonna be bored. Um, Off with a great start. So I got this poly dent and it's basically denture cleaner, but I use it for my retainers because I have stanky, stanky breath in the morning. So I got these for my retainers. Then I got some undergarments that I'm not gonna show you. So for Valentine's Day, I got Ian some books. So we need to like wrap his stuff for Valentine's Day. But I got him this hoodie which is like, first of all, so cute. And this brand, Goodfellow, is so great for men. Like, Ian loves this brand. So I have this long sleeve because he looks good in everything. And I thought this color green would just look so good on him. It's so cute. So got him that. Got him some chocolate for Valentine's Day, of course. I actually really like the Starbucks Blonde Espresso Pods. I feel like they're pretty good. It's just so similar to the Blonde Espresso Roast at Starbucks, which obviously, you know, it's the same, but I feel like a lot of times, especially with pods, they never taste the same. Like Dunkin', I feel like it rarely tastes the same, except for like the pumpkin. And so this one's my favorite for the Nespresso machine. Super good, so I got these, but the only thing is that it's a single shot of espresso. So you have to use, well I use like two of them at a time and it goes really fast because there's only 10 in here. So that's why I prefer espresso pods, but yeah. Got some milk and then I got this raspberry leaf tea because I heard that it really helps ease your menstrual cramps. 
So I want to give it a try and supports a healthy pregnancy. Oh, this is just for cramps, I promise. Let's go ahead and put everything away. I feel like we did good. I feel like this was a good Target run. I spent hours in there. Like I have not perused Target in so long. You guys, I just drenched myself in chicken. <laughs> I just drenched myself in chicken. Yeah, go check that out, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna go change. I'm all changed out of my chicken clothes. I have this package. I've actually had it for a while. Here is Ian's Valentine's Day stuff. <gasps> actually, the thing that I wanted, like the top thing on the list that I wanted to get him for Valentine's Day, I ordered it and then the day was supposed to be here never showed and i checked amazon and it was basically like oh yeah we refunded you it's not coming okay so joe abercrombie has another series called the first law and i haven't read it but ian loves it and so i got him i think it's called wait what's it called so this is called the age of madness series and this is the first book this is the second and then the third. This is gonna look so good on his bookshelf. He has no idea that I got him these. I've had this heart wrapping paper, so I thought we could wrap like a little bit of the stuff and then probably on Valentine's Day, I'll just lay it out on the kitchen or something for him. So yeah, I feel like we did good. Okay, I just made some tea. I made the rosemary tea that I picked up at Target. And then I am actually going to read Love in Other Words. I am not too far into it. I am on page 81 and I am loving it so far. It just like jumps right into it. So I figured we could read for a little bit. a really cute sweatshirt. Guess where we're going? We're going to Barnes. We're going to Barnes and Ian's homes. <laughs> of glass series i thought these were like available for pre-order on valentine's day i didn't oh, really? realize that they're already out at barnes oh my gosh where's the those, first one those look good yeah the first one's out here <laughs> no 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 Barnes and I of course found so many books that I wanted to get and I actually ended up not getting any oh my gosh I'm stumbling over my words I actually ended up not getting any because I have too many on my TBR list right now that I need to make a priority okay I am going to read for a little bit and I will catch up with you guys a little bit later okay you guys I am 100 and 
nine pages in to love in other words and oh my gosh i just wanted to like touch base and kind of tell you guys what i'm thinking so far so i love macy and elliot like i can already see the hype around this book because it is so fast paced i feel like it pretty much drew me in like from the beginning and i love this friendship i love the alternating timelines too the then chapters of when they were younger and friends i feel like elliot has always loved macy i feel like he just had a crush on her from the moment he laid eyes on her and i still have no idea why they had a falling out but obviously they still really care about each other i mean he saw macy and then the next or that night he like broke up with his girlfriend really went from zero to a hundred um so i am so curious what the falling out was that happened between them right now they're meeting for dinner so hopefully we're gonna learn more about their relationship and what happened maybe they'll discuss it a little bit but i feel like i've already almost cried a few times in this book just because of macy and like really her father and like kind of seeing the grieving of losing her mother at such a young age she lost her mom at 10. the story about her hair like that this is such a sweet book so i just wanted to touch base with you guys and i'm gonna continue reading i made a little cozy corner over here i've got my water to stay hydrated i've got some more raspberry tea right here and then i've got my book some cozy pillows and a heating pad so let's continue okay it has been a few days oh my book's upside down it has been a few days since I talked to you last. I have a few thoughts. I want to share with you what I'm thinking, where I'm at. Okay, I am on page 259. This is a spoiler, by the way. I am so shocked at how Macy and Sean were able to have the cleanest breakup in breakup history. They were so mutual on everything, and they both were... Yeah. Oh no! Did it crease? Uh-huh. No! The corner did. I am actually really proud of Macy because, okay, okay, let me share this with you. So yesterday I was laying in bed and I was sharing with Ian because we were talking about the books because he's reading Akatar right now. And I am reading Love and Other Words, obviously. And I was sharing with him, I feel like, I mean, Macy, has been through a lot. Felt like Macy was just holding out on us. Almost like she just didn't care about much of anything, which I know isn't true, but I just felt like Elliot loves her so much. And I was a little bit confused. I'm like, why is Macy just not expressing how she feels? I was in this weird limbo where I liked Macy, but at the same time, I felt like she lacked personality. A couple pages after I said that, she was like, I, let me, let me find it, let me find the quote. So I literally said that and then I read this part because I don't know, that time in my life was really hard and I made some bad decisions that I don't really know how to explain. Apparently, I'm also mostly dead inside and not really great with expressing the emotion. And once I read that, it all made sense for me. I was like, okay, this validated how I felt, but at the same time, it made me like Macy more. Because I'm like, okay, you know, she's aware when her friend Sabrina tells her the exact same thing and the fact that Macy is agreeing with it, I was like, okay, she just, she has some stuff she has to get through. So it makes sense now. Then as far as Elliot goes love elliot i feel like he loves macy so much maybe i can finish it today or tomorrow and then i can give you my review reading's great don't knock it till you try it reading's cool <laughs> stay in school <laughs> Okay, hi guys. I am on page 
362. I'm so sad because I kind of saw this coming. I think it was obvious that it was about to happen, but I just so didn't want to believe it. I saw this TikTok today of this girl who listed a few books that she solved all night while reading and Love in Other Words was on the list. And I was like, wait, what? Some parts at the beginning, just cause it was so tender, kind of made me tear up. I am like scared to continue. This is, ugh. love in other words last night what on earth what on earth this book made me sob and i thought it was gonna be just a cute romance but wow i this book shocked me it was so good this book is childhood friends to lovers it's second chance romance such a beautiful love story but it is heartbreaking in all of the same ways. Macy is the main character and Elliot is Macy's best friend, love interest, and they both have been through so much. The end of the book answered all of my questions as to why I felt like Macy was holding back so much. Finally understand Macy Sorensen and her relationship with El Elliot. Like, you, it totally makes sense now. Oh my goodness. I actually reread like the whole ending like three times because I was just so shocked. I couldn't believe it. Love in Other Words, a book that broke my heart, smashed it into pieces. I believe there are two and a half spicy scenes in this book, uh, I can't remember, but I think they're all at the end, really. I would give this book 4.75 stars. I don't know why it's not quite five stars for me. Like, I have no reason to not make it five stars because I enjoyed it, and it was so good. But yeah, there's no reason for me to not give it five stars. Like it was so good, it deserves five stars. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching today's video. You should totally comment down below what you're doing for Valentine's Day because I wanna know your plans. If you have read Love in Other Words, please comment down below what you thought of the book. I would love to chat with you guys about it or you can always DM me. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next book video.